Watching jockey Gary Stevens ride this past month may have some believing they've gone back in time. It's Thunder Gulch winning the Derby. The Hall of Famer only returned to the Irons last January after retiring seven years ago. Earlier this month, Stevens turned 50. From JD and Gary Stevens have won the San Marcos. Now Stevens is heading back to the desert to ride Little Mike and Doolahan on Dubai World Cup Day. I'm going into an atmosphere that I'm, I'm comfortable in, and I've had a lot of, lot of good luck over there in the past. This is work for me. It's not, uh, not a vacation. It's, uh, it's serious business for, for more money than I've ever ridden on on, on a night in, uh, in two races. I mean, $17 million in, in two races. There's, uh, there's a lot on the line, and uh, I'm respecting the responsibilities that I have. Stevens felt no bigger responsibility than when he rode the Kentucky Derby champion Silver Charm in the 1998 Dubai World Cup. When Silver Charm won, that was uh, one of my uh, most gratifying moments. I felt like we were carrying the weight of the United States on us. Uh, it was the first Derby winner to go over and compete in the World Cup, and I felt like anything less than a victory was going to be a slap in the, in the face to American racing. Silver Charm comes again. This is incredible. Swain is flying. Swain might beat the favorite. What a finish in prospect. Silver Charm and Swain. It's a photo. It's a great photo finish. I think what it did is just uh, justified the quality that we have here in the United States. This year, Stevens Dubai World Cup hopes rest with Doolahan, who was previously unbeaten on synthetic before his last start in Dubai a prep race for the world's richest race. The, the prep race was, it wasn't a comedy, but it was a comedy of errors. I, I guess he didn't handle himself well. It's a long ride from, a uh, band ride from the quarantine barn to the holding barn, then a long walk uh, from the holding barn to the actual saddling enclosure through a long tunnel, and uh, Delahun became very unnerved and got upset, got hot, and evidently he was uh, upset in the starting gate and acting up in there. And, he missed the break by about three lengths. Gates fly and they're racing in the Burj Nahar and Dunahan was slow to go. It's not an easy task for an American horse. They don't go through that same kind of uh, routine. Stevens has been studying tape and he knows that even though Doolahan has the style of a late closing freight train, his colt still needs to be engaged out of the gate. If you go back and watch his Pacific Classic and all of his good races, he, he breaks with the field then kind of drops himself back and runs his own race. and. Then always comes with a, a real strong rally the last three and a half furlongs. Game on, dude, and Doolahan in a thriller in the TVG Pacific Classics. Doolahan's got him. Stevens has returned to Dubai to work as a presenter for television since retiring. But this will mark his first trip to Maidan Racecourse. He hopes to guide Doolahan to the winner's circle, but if his Colt can't win, Stevens knows the U.S. will be well represented. I think, uh, you know, this year with uh, Royal Delta, uh, Animal Kingdom, Dullahan uh, were well represented. 